Okay, we are ready to go. James, so where are you from originally? Um, I'm from Texas. Uh, you're Houston, it was Houston, right? Yeah. yeah, Houston. From Houston. And what brought you out to LA? Um, music and acting. Uh, I'm a singer uh, and songwriter, so I tried doing that, it didn't work out too well. Um, and then I tried acting, so that didn't work out too well either. You got a great look. <laughs> you do. You do. You should, you should make it. <clears throat> I did that. before I was homeless. <laughs> yeah. um, so I've seen you on the street here, like passed out, face down on the sidewalk. It's alcohol that's your issue. Right? Um, not, not drugs so much? Drugs and alcohol, I guess. Oh, drugs too? Yeah, I use meth oh, you do? sometimes, and then I drink to to come off the meth. Oh, okay. huh. <laughs> so, but um, I mean, usually I'm up for a few days doing meth, and I'm gonna pass out for a day or two on the sidewalk. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's what I think I caught you last. <laughs> um, and when, at what age did you start uh, with the drinking and or drugs or whatever? Um, I actually had a pretty good life. Um, up until about my mid twenties, um, I, I mean, I used a little bit when I was a teenager. You know, I drank at parties with friends, and I did a few things here and there. Uh, you know, took some acid a little bit, did a little bit of cocaine when I was a teenager, and I quit using drugs completely. Um, and when I turned eighteen, and I was sober for years until my twenties. And my twenties, I started drinking. When I became legal to drink, I started drinking again. Um, and then after drinking for a few years, I began using again, which was something different. It was crystal meth. Yeah. So when I was about 25, 26 years old, 24, 25, 26, right around there, I started drinking um, <clears throat> and using crystal. Which, uh, and so I've been using crystal for about 10 years. And, which, which, and which, I'm which, trying to quit because 10 years on crystal, I mean, um, it really fucks you up really bad. Like, um, yeah, you still look fairly healthy and young. So healthy. while I'm, you know, before it fucks me up too bad, I want to fucking quit using. How old are you? Um, <clears throat> 36. Oh, you, you look great. So it hasn't, <laughs> you, know, so. you see, see you some, you, you'll see some people out here that are 48 and they're, they look like 80. Yeah, but that's what they say, you know, 10 years on crystal, you need to quit it. You know, like, <clears throat> and that's all the rumors I hear, 10 years on crystal, man, 10 years. 10 years, you can't do it anymore, you can't do it anymore, it's gonna fuck you up too bad, it's gonna fuck you up too bad. So, I'm trying to quit. I've been trying to quit for a while now. And then alcohol is also an issue for you? Um, not so much, alcohol's not really the issue. I don't think, I don't think it's the issue. I think maybe I just, I use alcohol currently because I get high on crystal, t I s smoke too much of it and then I can't sleep or I can't get off of it right. or you know, so I, drink to come down off of it. it. But, uh, you know, I mean, drinking has never been a problem, I don't think. I mean, I don't have a, I mean, I have a problem with drinking, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> do you, I mean, so what, tell me about your childhood. Was it, like, was there anything that you're trying to, like, not think about from your childhood, or do you think it's just, you're more addicted than? Um, yeah, my family was really abusive to me. Oh, really? Like, all of my family. Yeah, my brothers, my sisters, my mom, my dad, really? they were all abusive. My father was physically abusive, emotionally abusive uh, to everyone in the family. He used to beat up on my mom, shit like that, sure. beat up on us. I went to school one day in, in fourth grade and I had these like slashes on my back of my thighs and on my back. I can't even remember what my dad did it with. It was either a wire hanger or an extension cord or a... Uh, or uh, or his belt that had uh, like these buffalo nickels on it. <clears throat> I can't really remember what he did it with, uh, but I remember the incident, and I remember my father chasing me with something around the house, uh, threatening me. Uh, backed me into a corner behind my uh, behind my bedroom door and just started. And I turned my head into the corner and just he just went crazy on my back and my legs. So my sister decided it would be a good idea to tell the counselor, and then I had to go in, and I was in fourth grade, I was like nine or 10 years old, I think 10 years old. Uh, I had to go show the counselor, and I was like, God damn it. You know, <clears throat> so my sister went and told the counselor, and the counselor called me in and said, pull your pants down, take your clothes off. 
you know, what'd your dad do? I was like, well, he hit me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, um, it's horrible. Yeah. And then when you say your, your family as well was abusive? Uh, yeah, my, uh, my family was abusive towards me as well because I had some uh, trust money I was getting when I turned 18, so they were all jealous of it. When I turned 18, I got uh, some money from an accident I was in when I was a child. And, uh, <clears throat> and so my whole family was very abusive towards me as soon as I got that money. Do you still have the money somewhere, or is it... No. no, I spent it. You burned through it? Yeah, I burned through it. Yeah. It wasn't really a lot of money. It's not like it was millions or something like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it was enough to get me started when I was 18, you know. And I went to college a little bit here and there. Um, and when I came to California, I went back to college here in California. I went to college here. I went, uh, I got, uh, I had like three jobs I was waiting tables at, bartending and catering. And I was going to LACC, and um, and I was in a situation with a roommate that uh, didn't work out too well. I ended up homeless <clears throat> because I didn't have any paperwork at the resident I was staying at, you know. And he became jealous of something for whatever reason, and I ended up being homeless. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, so I mean, is, do you think the crystal meth? Is keeping you from like getting your shit together and getting a job? It, right? Yeah, I mean it's possible. I mean I'd be, I've been on Crystal uh, for a while now, so I mean it's possible that that's definitely part of it. Yeah. What um, where would you like to see? What would you like to see happen for the next five years from now? I like to quit using Crystal. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I I really want to quit using. It's bad. Yeah, you see, you see what the future. And is. I've been using it for ten years, and and I know the rumors about crystal meth. In ten years, is that it starts to you know deteriorate your body. You know, I mean, your body starts to decay, your face, your everything. I won't have any teeth in a couple of years or something like that if I keep using it. And I mean, currently right now, I still have my teeth. So. No, you're, you're you're a handsome guy. You, you you seem like you could just snap out of it and be like, no, no, like nothing ever happened. But five more years of that? Yeah, I can't, look, I can't look, continue look using. I know that. So I've been trying to quit. Yeah, good for you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. And good luck out there. It's crazy. Thanks. I mean, these, these things that hold on to people in this neighborhood are so dangerous and so destructive. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see it. I mean, it's, it's, it's do, do put everything you've got into getting off the shit. Right? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much.